Hey dear kids, welcome back and uh, in our series of MCQs, today is the turn of grade 3. So grade 3 kids, all the best. So what exactly we are going to do, I am going to sh show you a slide, alright. There are total 12 slides. So on each slide there is a question and for each question you will be, you are given four options. So out of those four options, one option is correct, okay. So for each question, I'm going to give you, let's say five to six seconds only. And uh, after each question, I am going to discuss the answers also, share the answers with you also, okay? So in case and uh, in between, if you feel that I'm too fast, so you can just give it a pause, read the question patiently and then come, uh, come to an answer, okay? All the best kids, let's get started. All right, grade three, mathematics, number system, multiple choice questions. Let's get started. Question number one, kids. I'm just giving you time to read by yourself. <laughs> All right, what is the correct number name for the given number? So the chart is in front of you along with the places. These are the four options, A, B, C, D. Just you can write down on your sheet the correct option and after that you can check whether the answer is correct or not. All times yours. So is it 189, 1489 or 1409 or 1809? So kids, the correct answer is Absolutely, 1,489. Well done, kids. Next question on your screen, kids. What is the place and place value of four in the given number? So here the number is there in front of you. You have been given information for zero, one, and seven. You have to find out the place and place value of four in the given number. Very good, yes, it seemed easy, right? Thousands and its place value is 4,000. Very good. Let's move on to next question. Question number three, which place comes after hundreds place? Comes after means after the next place. Ah, yes, it was an easy one. You know that it's ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. So the correct answer is C, thousands. Very good. Question number four, which number will come after 6192? Yes, so the answer is D, 6193. I'm sure each one of you at home during the vacations, you are writing the counting till 9,999, just keep practicing kids. Very good. All right, next up, question number five. What will come next in the given series? So look at the series carefully. 1,250, 1,350, 1,450. So accordingly, you have to fill up these two blanks. If you want more time, you can give it a pause. And But this is the time that I shall reveal the answer. So over here, kids, if you will observe, what are you going to observe? That the hundreds place digit is changing. It is increasing by one. So what is happening? Hundred is being added to each given number. 
So if we add one over here, four plus one gives us five at hundreds place. So over here, rest of the num digits are same, right? So it will, out of the given options, 1,550. And then again, adding one at hundreds place digit, it gives us 1,650. So the correct answer is D. Very good. I have already uploaded a, a video on number series, how you can identify a series and get the answers. So do uh, check that uh, video also if you have any confusion in solving number series. Okay, now let's move on to question number six. Okay, which of the following is the correct numeral form of 3,507? 3,507. Numeral form means in numbers, okay? Very good, you got it right, I'm sure. So this is 3000, all right. So if we let's start checking each option. So in each option, thousands place three is there, then 507. So first up is 517. Oh, this is 507. So the correct answer is B part, 3507. Well done. Question number seven. How many hundreds will make a thousand? Super easy. Come on, go for it. How many hundreds will make a thousand? Just remember the activity that we did in the class. Absolutely. When we have 10, so it is 10 hundreds will make a thousand. So this is 10 hundreds. Very good, very good attempt. Next up, which number comes just before 9,000? Oh, this is not a tricky one, but it's going to be very easy for each one of you, those who have been practicing counting. Which number comes just before 9,000? Think, think, think. See what comes before 90? 89. What comes before 900? 899. So what comes before 9000? Yes, 8999. All right, very good. Question number nine. Which is the same as 10 tenths? which is the same as 10 tenths. So 10 tenths, you can just see that tens like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, these are tens. So if you have 10 tenths, like these 10 tenths, how much? 90 after 10, one more 10, it becomes 100. Very good, C part. So C is the correct option, 100. Very good. Next up, which is the largest four digit number? Oh, easiest one. Which is the largest four digit number? Come on guys, you shouldn't be taking more than two seconds. Absolutely, 9,999. See, which is the largest one digit number? Nine, because it is the last one digit number in the counting, right? Then which is the largest two digit number? 99, because after 99, 100 comes. And 100 is a three digit number, right? So the last two digit number is 99, so it is the largest two, uh, two digit number. Similarly, the largest four digit number is 9,999 because after that five digit number starts, okay? All right, next up, second last question. The difference between the greatest four digit number and the greatest two digit number. Go for it kids. Oh, 
please uh, one thing please don't get confused in the vocabulary that is being used sometimes we say greatest four digit number and sometimes it is largest four digit number all right so it means the same thing go ahead whatever has been discussed in the previous question that is applicable in this it is absolutely same so greatest four digit number is 4 times 9 and greatest two digit number is 99 and what the question is saying difference here is the key word what is the difference it means subtract so what is the difference 9 minus 9 0 then 0 and here you don't have anything so 9 will come as it is so the correct answer over here 9900 very good all right last question for the quiz how many zeros are there in 8000 we end up with the easiest question always <laughs> so how many zeros are there in 8000 simple three zeros in 8000 very good and how do we write 8000 so it is 8 this is 80 this is 800 and this is 8000 all right very good kids I hope that you have performed really well and you have gained confidence over this concept these minor concepts of the number system bye have fun